家好，啊，我叫尹大雪，啊，可以叫我大雪，我是菜鸟 Smart Gateway， 啊，也是菜鸟智慧港的 CEO。一二一三年的话呢，可以是说中国的物流业的话呢，由呃线下向线上，向向向智能化，向数据化去进行发展。我想的话呢，是这十年啊，我看到的一个这个最显著的一个变化啊。举个例子来讲，这个十年前啊啊，比如说二零一三年双十一活动，那个时候的话呢，一天的单量可能是五百万单左右啊，大大概这样的一个量级。那么很快呢，没没过几年之后的话呢，这个单量的话呢，就变成了一亿单。对于这个企业来讲的话呢，目前产业互联网啊，那现在的话呢，应该是一个这个一个趋势，或者说我们看到的更多的这种 B to B 的场景下，其实呢，针对线上或者说电商的这样的一个场景，那它正在不断的进行啊进一步的这样的一个发展，由。to C 的活动转向 to B 的活动，转向更加深层次的这种 B to B 的活动，我想的话呢，这应该是一个很明显的一个趋势啊，或者说我们看到的这样的一个一个发展。Hi, this is Thomas from China Network. I'm now senior director for Global Airport Services. I'm actually responsible for overseeing all the global hub operations, product developments. And another major role for myself is try to expanding our network in the global footprints. So China is actually building a very digital network for all the smart infrastructures. We try to bring the technology to enable the logistics services in more efficient and cost-effective way through the technology transformation. I think globalization is a very important trend for all the nations and countries and regions. Because right now, no single region or nations and country can be dominate the supply chain workflow for the goods and movement for the peoples. So I think if we want to be driving the growth for the countries, regions, and nations, we need to work and collaborate with others. So this is actually not stop the globalization. So we, as a company in the international、uh, operations and business, we will support globalization for long. If we slept or we advocate for globalization, that means the goods will be flowing across the borders, right? So actually, that will be bring very positive effect to the new trend of services, which is called cross-border logistics. How we can efficiently and effectively to bring the goods from one place to other place, and also reversely from another place to back to that places. Another implication for logistics is complexity. That means、uh, when you go for globalization, that means it's not just a cross-region matter; it's actually global to global matter. So I think the network development. And the network setting, how it can be most optimal and most efficient way, it will be a very challenging question for all the logistics players. So for China, that's reason why we want to set up different hubs in different places because we want to forming a hub and spoke networks to make sure that we can have a good、uh, infrastructure and also in supporting our logistics transportation networks. And also, same kind, we can also base on the hub to expanding. Most reachable region in shortest time. That's reason why I believe the most positive implication to the industries. We in Hong Kong's this project's scope, of course, is a very large project. At the same time, in terms of its functionality, it should have many different functions combined into one project. 比如说，对于我们这个项目而言的话呢，它会有智慧园区、智能化的产品和技术的支撑对于菜鸟而言的话呢，有一个众所周知的愿景啊，这个全球七十二小时，全国二十四小时，对吧？但是我想说的呢
，菜鸟是希望能够把中国的这个商业能够与世界连接起来，然后把世界的商家跟中国连接起来。我想呢，这种连接，然后的话呢，能够让这个货物全球买、全球卖提供的有效的这种支撑或者有力的支撑。所以说呢，这也就是我们为什么在全球建设 e h u b 这也是为什么我们要在香港来建菜鸟 Smart Gateway。这个 e h u b 的话呢，本身的话呢，它其实就是承载网络的重要的一个支点啊。那么通过这些网络的话呢，我们能够给全球的商家提供它的必要的这种支撑。我想呢，这些的话呢，都是我们想去呃为商家去提供的，也是想去为消费者提供的啊。那对于我们而言的话呢，这个商家、消费者啊，我想的话呢，都是我们的这个服务对象。Hello, I'm Feng Chen. I'm Logistic Engineering Director in China Smart Gateway. I'm take care of MHS design and implementation. MHS is an innovative air cargo handling system for receipt, delivery, storage, retrieval, transshipment, and sorting of air cargo. It is no doubt is a symbol of automation in traditional air cargo handling industry, and it reduces our reliance on the manpower for the handling cargo. The automated MHS is ready to be used when operation commenced. It contains over 600 storage positions for loose cargo and over 18 UOD positions for build-up cargo at each floor. It offering multi-level storage with strengthened safety and security compliance. I think this is a trend uh, to be more digital and be modern, right? I think the pandemic uh, in past few years is accelerates the company in all different kind of industry in applying digitalization and technology products. The main concept of SmartPlan is to bring logistic management to the new next level by using digitalization and AI technology such as IoT and BMS system to modernize the facility and input the full range of possible automation. I think Hong Kong, uh, under the globalization patterns and also the developments, Hong Kong playing a very important and vital role uh, to supporting the developments as well. I think Hong Kong has a few advantage already. First, Hong Kong is a free trade policy, so the goods and people can move in easily. Hong Kong has a very strong financial uh, infrastructure. Uh, Hong Kong also has a very strong logistics infrastructure as well. Mm, and also Hong Kong has a lot of tenants who are very supporting the development of logistics. Our goal is to make our park smarter and more efficient, enable ourselves and our customer to optimize the use of resources and reach sustainable goals. And I'm proud to say that we are the first highly intelligent logistics center in Hong Kong. Hong Kong eHub is the Smart Gateway. 它是一个在香港的大湾区的门户去设立的这样的一个节点。那么我们对这个项目的一个愿景的话呢，我们是希望为香港啊与大湾区进行协同和融合发展的这样的一个过程当中的话呢，能能够有所助力和提升，啊，然后也是与这个香港机场它的发展紧密的是能够是挂在一起的。我们也希望的话呢，在物流行业，尤其是在产业互联网的这样一个场景下的话呢，能够得到更大的助力。I think logistics already left behind because of we not invest a lot in the past few years. But I think it's never say never because we still got a good time to catching up. So I believe the digitalization is never 
end from now. So we need to take advantage for these kind of uh, pro process and progress as well. And comparing a few years ago, the cost of adaptations and cost of application is already become more economic right now. So it's the best chance for us to take the trend from now, not too late. China is a pioneer in the field of smart logistics and we have been operating in China and several cities worldwide for a while. However, this new logistics center in Hong Kong is our world's first multi-layer project and we expect there will be more challenges and opportunity to come.